error. Warning. Access denied. Artificial intelligence. A term used to describe everything from sci-fi movies and cutting-edge technology to self-driving cars. As artificial intelligence gets smarter and collects more of her data, some grow wary. As it becomes more robust and capable, some accept it openly. But how many of us truly understand this technology and its consequences? AI, used in the everyday sense, can refer to a great deal of things. In a purely scientific sense, AI is known as the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. Due to poor representation within popular culture and mass media, AI is greatly misunderstood. AI and its associated terms are constantly being thrown at us as advertising points from big technology companies. We have come to the point where we automatically associate artificial intelligence with sophistication and next-gen technology. AI is playing a role in almost every sector of our lives that the majority of the population only understands this field at the surface level. AI has unlimited potential to improve our lives, but it is our responsibility to understand and make the most of this potential. First and foremost, AI is an umbrella term for a number of smaller topics. One of the more prevalent topics in our world that is being used more and more commonly is machine learning. Maybe we could get a smart assistant to define it. Machine learning refers to the process by which computers develop pattern recognition or the ability to continuously learn from and make predictions based on data. Well, technically it was right, but it doesn't give us that much information. And this speaks for machine learning as a whole. While it is impressive, it still has a lot to learn. Machine learning algorithms are continuously performing the three C's, collection, conceptualization, and creation. Collection in order to gather data, conceptualization to make sense of all this data, and creation to come up with new ways to predict and analyze this data. And while it is a fancy term you'd expect to see in the pages of a comic book, you are interacting with machine learning on a daily basis. These devices that we take for granted, your phone, it constantly gives you suggestions on where to go, what to do, and tries to predict your behavior. Albeit a simple one, this is an example of machine learning that seeks to empower a single user, you. So is machine learning still relatively small scale? No. Imagine the possibilities that arise from accessing the data for around a million users. This is exactly what Tesla is doing with their neural networks approach to self-driving automobiles. Tesla's autopilot feature makes use of cameras placed along the car to constantly analyze its environment, known as computer vision. Using this constant influx of visual data, the car is able to figure out how to somewhat navigate its surroundings. But how exactly can one car be taught to navigate through all sorts of scenarios and environments? A key part of its ability to do this is in the way this car's AI is continuously improved via machine learning. Each individual car is constantly attempting to predict the future actions of the driver and other objects on the road, even when the car is not driving itself. If the car incorrectly makes a prediction, the Tesla takes a snapshot of this moment and uploads it to Tesla's servers. The snapshot itself is an abstract representation of the video, compressed for the sake of simplicity and storage. This also applies to rare scenarios or obstacles that the car has not encountered before. More than 700,000 cars are constantly uploading information, which is analyzed by a special set of machine learning algorithms, neural networks. Neural networks are algorithms modeled after the brain, and without getting too deep into the science, are used to recognize relationships and patterns in datasets in a human-like way. These networks automatically label and analyze data, while also constantly evolving from each and every data set by analyzing the correlations between what it sees and the actions taken by the driver. This evolution is constantly being passed down to every car in Tesla's fleet through the form of software updates. In practice, the neural networks are learning and imitating the actions of human drivers in every scenario that they encounter. But the continuous collection of data might be okay in this situation. But how does that translate to machine learning in other situations? 
A major part of why machine learning and AI as a whole is constantly being scrutinized is the idea of data collection and privacy. It is right to worry about what information big tech corporations are collecting on us and how they might use it. Even more so, it is right to worry about how and when this private info is being collected. At the same time, data collection is the lifeline of AI and machine learning, but to allow machines running off of zeros and ones privy to almost all aspects of our lives is intimidating. And that's why it's imperative to understand what data is being collected and how it's being used. When it comes to consumer products that we interact with on a daily basis, the only data that is being accessed by an algorithm is the one that is being actively fed by the user. This might come in the form of voice commands, images, or even actions. This information is then used to create a technological silhouette of ourselves. The large corporations behind the products we consume hold onto the information that we feed their devices. Typically, there are options for consumers to delete their information or prevent information from being recorded altogether. But is this really enough? These companies do have stringent privacy policies in place. But in the event of a massive data breach, our collective data would be exposed. This is where the legal and political side of AI and machine learning needs to catch up to the rate at which the technological side is developing. Better and smarter policies should be implemented for the sake of our personal information as this technology continues to develop. While we typically hear of machine learning and AI when it comes to consumer products in the tech industry, machine learning has been invisibly working behind the scenes in almost every other industry, from your finances to how your food is grown. The health industry is no exception. In fact, the health industry is oftentimes one of the first sectors to adopt technological advances. From smart records to improved diagnostics, the ability for physicians to properly identify, diagnose, and treat illnesses improves greatly with the algorithmic analysis that comes with machine learning. For example, take Kensai, a Seattle-based company that is using machine learning to predict illness and health risks within various populations, while also tracking disease progression individually. Overall, this allows for better disease prediction and prevention. Even big tech companies realize the potential of machine learning in our healthcare. Microsoft, through its project InnerI program, uses machine learning to help doctors decide if tissue is cancerous or healthy. This, in turn, allows for better and more precise treatment. It would be remarkably amiss to avoid discussing the application of machine learning to the current ongoing pandemic. How can machine learning be applied to something as unknown and unpredictable as COVID-19? Generally, machine learning can and is being used in the same manner, large-scale prediction and prevention. Especially given the spread of this disease, it is important to know who is at most risk for developing serious health complications. Researchers using the same principles in consumer technology were able to develop a COVID-19 vulnerability index which can be used to identify how severely the virus would impact an individual based on several different identifying factors. But there's an awful lot more to this pandemic than the obvious and direct health-related effects. When you zoom out and look at the bigger picture, you realize that a crisis of this scale is about so much more than what we are constantly seeing. Important aspects of our lives like mental health and transportation are being severely affected by the pandemic. While information dissemination and social media use are playing an important role in the spread of pandemic-related news. How does machine learning fit into all of this? The three C's apply here as well. The algorithms built into these programs will process all of the collected data, which much like Tesla's system, is constantly being updated with new data. These algorithms will look for patterns and pointers in this data to convert the hard data into more usable information. This is more intuitive in some studies as opposed to others. For example, researchers at the Institute of Media Innovation are creating a platform that allows mental health care professionals to interact with their patients more effectively. Machine learning will be used to process and break down the sentiments of the user, thereby allowing for more tailored treatment. On the other hand, take the researchers at the Urban Information Lab in the School of Architecture, who are tracking transportation data across New York. Machine learning is used to process, model, and then predict where the next potential sequence of COVID-19 outbreaks could be. Researchers from the Moody College of Communication are helping to track COVID-19 related tweets, which are analyzed by algorithms designed to pick up on certain keywords. These algorithms flag certain tweets according to their relevancy and urgency, which are then reviewed by a group of volunteers. This information is then passed on to local emergency personnel. Through the use of a human teacher, the algorithms are continuously learning what language constitutes what and how to better break down communication. 
Ultimately, the programs are improved significantly and are more geared towards future self-regulated use. The research using machine learning during this crisis is not only helping to save lives, but it is paving a road for the future. A future that will prove to be endowed with better and more capable technologies as a result of the growth happening now. Machine learning has entered into every aspect of our lives, playing an influential role in the actions we take in our technology-driven society. The question isn't whether this technology will continue to evolve and become more prominent. Instead, if you, as a current and future consumer, are willing to understand and accept this evolution. <laughs>